Are you tired of soft resetting to get good IVs? Do you want your Pokemon to be stronger? Then Hyper Training is for you! I'm Mike from Poketips Official, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys all about Hyper Training, what it is, and how to do it. Hyper Training is a brand new feature introduced in Pokemon Sun and Moon that allows you to effectively increase your Pokemon's IVs. But first off, what are IVs? IVs stand for Individual Values. Have you ever noticed how you could catch two different Pokemon with the same level and even the same nature but they'll have two completely different stats? That's because of individual values. There are individual values for each stat in Pokemon and they all range from 0 to 31, with 0 being the worst and 31 being the best. So basically, if you want to have the strongest Pokemon possible, you're going to want to have 31 IVs in each stat. Now there are a few ways that you can do that, and although Hyper Training might not be the most efficient and fastest way to get your Pokemon to have perfect IVs, it's still a really nice option to have. I find it especially useful on legendary or event Pokemon because those usually take a really long time to get good IVs on. So hyper training itself is actually pretty simple. To hyper train, all you have to do is actually just talk to an NPC in Haoli City's mall. Make sure that whatever Pokemon you want to hyper train is at level 100 because if it's under level 100 he will not hyper train it. Bring him a bottle cap item and then he'll hyper train your Pokemon for you. It's really that simple. The challenging part is actually getting the bottle cap item that you need for hyper training. There are two different types of bottle caps, the regular bottle cap and the gold bottle cap. If you give a regular bottle cap to the hyper training NPC, he'll allow you to max out one of your Pokemon's IVs. However, if you give him a golden bottle cap, he'll max out all of your Pokemon's IVs. Now there's actually currently no way in game to get the gold bottle cap, so in this guide I'll be teaching you the best ways to get regular bottle caps. Now there are two different ways that I know of to get regular bottle caps, and currently nobody knows any methods to get the golden bottle cap. The first one is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is battle trainers. If you go to the Pony Island and battle all the trainers on the Pony Island Gauntlet route, you'll be able to battle a special trainer called Minna. Once you defeat her, she'll give you a bottle cap. Unfortunately, this can only be done once. The second way you can get bottle caps is by trading shards. There are four different types of shard items, the red shard, green shard, blue shard, and yellow shard. There's an NPC over in the Festival Plaza who if you bring him shards, he will actually trade you bottle caps. And side note, I think he might be the same guy that does the hyper training because he looks exactly the same. A little weird to me, don't you think? Anyway, if you bring this guy 30 shards of one color, he will actually trade you a regular bottle cap for them. Now the question is, how do you get shards? The easiest way to get shards in Pokemon Sun and Moon is to start using Poke Pelago and go to Isle of Fun. On this isle, you could send your Pokemon off on a mission called Path for Odd Shard Hunting. This will send some of your Pokemon in your box off to go collect shards, and 24 hours later you could come back and collect them. Don't worry though, you can still use the Pokemon in your box while they're off in this mission. After you collect 30 of a colored shard, you could go trade them to the man in Festival Plaza, and you'll get a bottle cap. Now, once you have your bottle cap, you're ready to start hyper training. Head on over to Haoli City, and go to the mall over there. Go to the top right of the mall and talk to the man in the red shirt, show him your level 100 Pokemon and your bottle cap, and then you'll be ready to start hyper training. So if a Pokemon already has a maxed out IV in any of its stats, you won't be able to hyper train it because it's already as high as it can go, and if the Pokemon has perfect IVs, he'll just say that your Pokemon's perfect already and you can't hyper train it. One last interesting thing about hyper training is technically it doesn't raise your IVs, it only makes it appear to do so. So what that means is once you hyper train, your Pokemon will function as if it has 31 IVs in that stat, but it won't actually have 31 IVs in that stat. This is mainly useful if you're going for a specific type of hidden power. But for all intents and purposes, once you've trained your Pokemon with hyper training, your Pokemon effectively has perfect IVs in whatever stat you hyper trained. Alright guys, I hope this guide helped you out, and if it did, show this video some love by hitting that like button. Also, you can subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. So thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.